Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the Caves and Cliffs SMP. In our last episode we built this wonderful looking bee factory here behind me that's got our bee farm in it. And you can see here it used a 16 bee nest instead of a 20 like I originally thought. And of course I added a couple more details since then. Make it look like the pipes are running in and out through it, give it that steampunky feel. And in uh, this episode, I want to build another factory right here, close to the bee factory, somewhere in this general area. But as you can see, I've been busy these last few days, flattening out this island and getting it ready for all the factories I have in mind. Hopefully they all turn out okay. And I get all these factories built, we can start putting in our roads and our decorations and our final decors. Let's see if we can land right up here. Yep, this is a good spot. We'll stand here on Bib's head. Anyways, as you can see here, we got a good chunk of this island flattened out. Pretty much all of it. And uh, I gotta go gather up some materials to get this build started. And... Uh, I'll be right back with you guys and hopefully uh, I'll be able to get most of this build done within the next uh, little bit. Alright everybody, I went to the other base and pinched some materials that, were, that I already had mined up. Uh, the granite that is, and there's copper and stuff I already had here from Cook. I'm collecting from the beehive and factory build and the uh, guardian factory build. Stumbled across my words again, sorry guys. Anyways, this there should be enough glass, but if not, we can make more. And I know I need a whole lot more copper than this, more than likely. And I know I need way more bricks. So let me go grab the bricks and come back and tell you a little bit about the uh, factory I have planned. Let's go. This factory build's gonna have to hold off for just a moment or two because we have a job to do. Cuboid has uh, hired us to build an iron farm for him, and we'll jump over to his base and uh, get that built for him real quick. Let's go. Okay, I have this iron farm finished. And you see here, I got 20 villagers in with the 20 beds right there. He wanted uh, 10 farmers and 10 clerics, so that's what we gave him. We talked earlier, and uh, this is what he uh, thought would be best, but he can change them at any time because I've not traded with any of them. Take a look around his little spot here. He just got started on here. He just set his little base up. And, but there it is, there's his iron farm. Hopefully he likes it and let's get back to the factory build. Oh yeah, sugar cane factory, that's what we're making. Let's go. And here we are back at the island. I got the foundation for the sugar cane factory laid out here. As you can see here, it's gonna be a decent sized farm factory. The farm part's gonna be right in here. And there'll be a hopper mine cart that goes up to each lever level and loops around and comes back down somewhere to a hopper mine cart unloader to our storage area, of course. And we'll probably uh, have a dispenser here in the ground, hide it here in the wall with a, a broiler tank or something. But we'll have it come up out of here and into a glass tube and over to a water stream and collect down to some hoppers but uh, I'm guessing on that we may or may we may or may not do that <laughs> sorry stumbling over my words again I get tickled every time I do that anyways this is uh, the point plan for the foundation and I'll get this thing built up and bring you guys back so let me get going Okay everyone, this here is what I've got so far. And you see here we got our layers in. And I'm putting walls one block back depth here to 
give us some depth in our build. And this here will be our entryway. A couple of windows here and up top here. On the side here we'll have like our garage entrance for our loading and unloading station. And of course some more windows and we'll put some more walls up there to give us a little bit more depth and windows. And just the same here on the back, just be windows. And now I gotta build this part here up, which will be a little bit taller than this part of the build here, this half anyways. So let me get uh, that there built up and give you guys a quick update. So let me quit stalling here and get back to work. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, everyone, here's a, another little update on the other half of this build so far. Of course we got it built a little taller because this is where our sugarcane farms are going to go. We're going to have it stacked three tall inside of there of course and we're going to texture it with granite and brick block and you know make this thing look a little better. Okay. And let's fly around this way so you guys can get a little bit of a sense of how tall this thing is. Of course, down in the ground level is 71, so it's not too high, but it's high enough. Just enough to get our three uh, sugar canes stacked on top of each other here. Three sugar cane farms. And uh, I'll be right back to you guys with the uh, another build update. I've got to go collect more materials because I ran out of block again and brick block, that is. And I need just a little bit more. This would be probably my third trip after brick block or clay, as you you would uh, normally say, to make the brick, to make the brick block. But when I come back to show you guys this uh, build again, I should have uh, both the uh, roofs on right here and uh, all the windows in. So let me go get that done and uh, show you guys this next update right here in just a second. Okay, everyone, here's another little... Uh, up, update of this build. Of course, you see I'm trying to make it look kind of worn and kind of run down like it's one of the older factories instead of looking like one of the newer factories coming in. I use some granite and some uh, brick stairs here. I might mix in some granite stairs in a little bit. And I've textured our pillars here. I'm debating on whether or not I should add the uh, cracked stone brick or not. I'm thinking on that a little bit. Ooh, here's some blocks I forgot to pick up. Anyways, this here's what I've got so far with the roof on and the windows in and a little bit of the texturing done. Of course, we're going to do kind of similar like we did over there. We're going to have the pipes running through and around our windows for a little bit of that steampunk uh, detail. As you can see here, I've pretty much matched the same all the way around. And the inside is just bare bones, of course. As soon as we get our uh, sugar cane farm in, we'll be uh, rocking and rolling on this thing. I'm going to change out this floor. I'm thinking about going to the nether and gathering up a bunch of basalt and just using basalt for our uh, main factory floor. Might mix in some stone and other stuff, give it a little texture like it's morning. And that's pretty much all I have uh, in mind for texturing and everything. We'll deal with the inside decorations later. But let me get this farm built and the other little finer details in. And on the outside here, we'll give it a little more life. But let me quit stalling and talking about this build and get to work. So let's go. We finally got this build done. Let's kind of turn around here and take a quick look at it. And there it is. Let's do a quick run around or around the whole building here. Of course, these here are our tanks. We are we'll decorate those up in a little while later on when we get our final decorations in and roads and stuff like. I've been mentioning and anyways 
This is the back side, similar to the front side, of course. The interior is nowhere near done, but we'll go inside here so you guys can see how I set up the sugarcane farm. And right here is uh, three layers. Of course, we got our mine cart that runs through here, through these little t uh, towers inside the factory to kind of hide them up out of the way. Of course, when everything harvests, it'll bring it up this little item chute right here and over and down to our collection system. We've gathered up a little bit from adding the decorations on the outside. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys, and I hope you all enjoyed. And if so, pl please consider uh, liking and subscribing. And leave me a comment down below what you all think about this build. Anyways, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.